as the population of the, of the Earth kind of grows, we're trying to use more, more and more of our natural resources and we're farming more and more intensively. So in order to improve the, the functioning of ecosystems and, and utilise our resources more efficiently, um, we're, we're looking at trying to diversify farming practices and diversify the, the landscape so there's more trees and more woody vegetation in the form of uh, hedgerows. Uh, and by doing this, we're, we're hoping to improve the efficiency in which uh, we're farming. And by doing that, we'll improve the resilience of our uh, ecological systems to extreme events such as droughts and, and floods. The potential benefit for the farmer is that uh, they're diversifying um, their, their farming practice. So trees can be used for uh, harvested and, and sold on for other purposes. Uh, there's potential reduction in the amount of fertiliser they may have to apply. And there are other benefits to the wider society, uh, such as the amount of carbon that is sequestered and also um, the amount of water that can enter the, enter the soil. This was a, uh, a hedgerow. That as the hedge develops, uh, we can improve the amount of shelter for the animals that are in this incredibly exposed field. And that potentially can uh, increase the the productivity of the livestock by increasing their live weight gain as their energy isn't utilised in trying to keep warm. Um, there's several other benefits associated with the, with the hedgerow, uh, for example biodiversity benefits, uh, in, increasing the number of pollinators and uh, soil fauna, uh, and additionally uh, the hydrological benefits, so through um, the root development and the changes in the uh, soil porosity, uh, we can increase the amount of water that is infiltrated into the soil. The work in Aberystwyth is focused very much on animal physiology. The animals are fed uh, specific amounts of, of fodder and the amount of live weight gain is, is assessed as well as the uh, amount of uh, greenhouse gas that's emitted from the, from the animals. This particular field uh, has an open area here where we're growing uh, pasture out in the open as, as a control. Uh, the first lot of trees are sycamore um, and then we have another species called alder which is a nitrogen fixing species and this species can add nitrogen to the soil and fertilize the sward. So what we're trying to do is uh, generate a, enough of an evidence base to again model what type of tree should be planted in what location to maximise the, the potential flood mitigation effect. We're able to take micrometeorological measurements um, around the trees and ascertain the, the impact of the, the trees on both temperature changes, uh, moisture contents of the air and, and also wind speed. What we've done here is created uh, alleys between the trees and have planted different mixtures of grass species underneath the trees. Uh, and we were able to then study how fast or how productive the, the sward is, how fast it grows. Um, and once we have an established sward, we then will turn animals into here uh, to feed. So from an animal behaviour perspective, is that the animals prefer to uh, loiter under the trees and preferentially graze the, both the fodder and, and grass uh, around the tree areas. Is if the animals can shelter under the trees during strong sun, rather than having to lie up and, and try and keep cool, they can continue to feed and obviously then put on more live weight gain. Um, and in the winter, uh, when there's cold winds, uh, rather than wasting um, energy trying to maintain their, their core temperature, they can shelter under the trees and continue to feed. So thereby the, the, the animals are, are able to increase their productivity by interacting around the trees. So in order to improve the, the functioning of ecosystems and, and utilise our resources more efficiently or suggest uh, a, an optimised location of trees and hedgerows within a field to maximise the potential environmental uh, uh, benefits and also benefits to the farmer, so the benefits to, to livestock, live weight gain and sheep welfare.